Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and it's time to do another banggood.com review. I asked them to send me this mini compound bench. This is actually a tool which you can attach to the base of a drill press, and you can bolt whatever it is you need to hold down onto it, and this will move in two axes, so forwards and backwards and left and right, um, depending on which way you look at it, so that's either the um, X and Z or X and Y axis. I, I'm not going to argue with any engineers over which one is which. But either way, very useful tool. Why would you want this? Well, if you imagine you've got your drill press uh, drilling down in the same spot, either you have to reposition the object you're working on or you can dial these handles here and here, dial these in so that you can just move it to the next position a lot more accurately Okay, so let's have a look at what you actually get. I've actually taken it out of the box, and here it is. There we go. So, um, this is what you actually get. This is the little um, drill drill bench. Um, you actually have a, a ruler here which slides, so you can position it to uh, this mark and sort of zero it on on where you're working to. Um, there you go. So you say zero it about there. And then you know that if you move it um, sort of left and right. So I've got a handle over here. Uh, it works very smoothly. It would work smoother if I had it bent, <laughs> bolted down to something. And then you see the one moves it back and forwards here. Um, nice, nice little handles. Uh, the handles come in a little box with this. You'll find what I did with the box. Um, there's a little box, and in it, the handles um, also some uh, bolts and plates. Why do you need the bolts and plates? Well, the bolts are just not standard um, 8mm bolts. They slide in and um, the idea is, is that you can slide these bolts in, you can attach these plates to it and you can hold down, pin down whatever it is that you're going to drill because if you're going to use a drill press, whatever you're drilling into needs to be held very st sturdily. Um, by the way, it does come with uh, like four of these uh, nuts and bolts and two plates, but should you wish to hold something a bit bigger, you can always use uh, longer bolts like this. That's uh, just one of mine. Um, you can also get something like a um, a drill press vise like that and, uh, and actually bolt that to it if you want. Um, you could just use a drill press vise, of course, but you would have to reposition whatever you were drilling, um, which is the, sort of the reason why you'd want one of these sort of compound benches in the first place, isn't it? Why do I want one? Well, if you watch my previous video on the drill press, the Banggood scent, you'll uh, notice that this uh, Avocet padlock is one that I want to drill out to make a repinnable practice padlock. If I hold it in the light there, you can see where I've just used some 600 grit wet and dry paper to f just file off some of the shine. And can you see there's a, not these uh, black dots where I marked uh, the center of them, but can you see the plugs, the brass plugs that were used to um, plug the chambers where the springs, the driver pins are? Hopefully you can see that. If not, maybe if I put the five pin key there, you can see that where these um, cutouts are for the key bitting, you can see that they line up perfectly with those dots. I've actually um, used a center punch just to mark those off as well. What I want to do is mount this and then use the um, left and right or the uh, the x-axis function to drill these out in turn at exactly um, 90 degrees um, as straight as I can down to the pin chambers so that I get a, a nice basis for tapping and threading those chambers for making a practice lock. So that's why I've got this um, this bench. There's so many other projects that I, I can just see myself doing with this, um, all lock sport related as well. And um, yeah, and when I got it out of the pack, I have to say that I'm actually really quite impressed with it. Um, it's got, like I said, a, a movable um, uh, measure here. It seems to be made of a pretty solid aluminium construction for the, the bench top made of a cast metal here. Um, you also get a little hex key. You can see there's a little slide plate here, a little pressure plate made of, I think, a, a brass or a copper. And you can use this to tighten this up. You can see there is a, a very, oh, move my camera, very small amount of play, but not very much, actually. I'm, I was actually quite impressed. This is about 40 
£41, something like that on Banggood at the moment. It does change the price depending on the uh, currency exchange rate on the day. Um, so please do check the links below for any discount vouchers and uh, for the latest prices. You'll see that you've got another uh, set of screws here for another little uh, uh, friction plate there on this side for the forwards and backwards movement so you can you can sort of dial in how um, much movement and how smoothly this runs uh, this isn't designed by the way um, to use a, a, a router table so um, it's, it's really just for positioning your drill when you're doing some vertical drill pressing um, you can also see on here on the dials you've actually got some measurements which I think is really kind of cool so uh, you can sort of um, just see how far in increments you can move um, on the dials as well. Um, I probably won't ever need that level of accuracy, but it's nice to know that it's there. So overall, I think for your £40, you're getting something which is, um, or thereabouts, you're getting something which I think is surprisingly well made, and I, um, I can't wait to use it. I'm going to cut away now, and I'm going to actually do some drilling outside. The weather is just terrible, but... Um, it's the only opportunity I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'll mount this up. And I'm going to drill out these chambers and I'm going to bring the lock back and show you um, how well I got on. Okay, I'll see you in a second. So we're back after, um, hmm, I'd say a good 20, 25 minutes of careful um, drill pressing on this Avocet padlock. Uh, I didn't use the vice in the end I actually rigged up um, this table uh, and held this down on a piece of leather uh, so that it, it could be uh, drilled because the rig itself was too big with the uh, with the little drill vice on um, but I hope you can see how pleased I am with this uh, drilling out of the plugs so genuinely I am um, just because I had sort of no idea how accurate I could be. And I have to say that um, using using this table and the drill press, I, I think I was able to do a really, really good job, even if I say so myself, of drilling out these holes really neatly, really well spaced. And just to show you how accurate um, my drilling was, can you see this? this here is actually one of the brass plugs and I drilled straight through the center of it look at that that was sat here I don't want to do it drop down the chamber just there in the chamber um, level like this and I actually drilled through the center of it and I had a couple of those so uh, my drill placement was awesome. You can actually see a bigger plug there and another little plug there. This last plug isn't a pin, by the way. Um, I actually have another one of these locks, which uh, Pete Russell gave me, which he'd cut away. And that sixth pin is here. That is what holds the actual core in. And you can see there um, where I think um, the plugs have been uh, hammered a bit so they've actually sunk down into the uh, body of the lock so it's interesting I have this actually because you can see you know how I drilled those out now this operates with um, with any Avocet key or any key that will fit so I've got two keys with completely different bittings and of course because there's no pins they um, both will open the lock so in the next video, what I hope to do is use a uh, tap and die set to tap some threads into here, uh, put some uh, little threaded screws in the top, and then hopefully then we can have a padlock which you can progressively pin or pin up with some ex different security pins and all sorts like that. Um, just to show you what kind of pins were in this lock already, uh, we already had um, things like these that came out of it, so had uh, some little spool pins in there already, which are kind of cute, and the standard pin or two. Um, but be warned, you will absolutely, I mean, I, I can't imagine how you could do uh, drill these plugs out without damaging the springs underneath. You might get lucky, but yeah, not me. 
Um, so you will need, if you're going to do this, you'll need to actually have some um, springs and maybe even some driver pins spare to uh, redo the lock. Anyway, this is a review on um, this table, this uh, this uh, sort of drill table, and I have to say that I've been really, really impressed with it. It's really nice and solid. It um, it's, it doesn't have much play, uh, which is good. I was able to get you know some really good accuracy in terms of my uh, drill placement. Um, I think for just around forty pounds, this isn't bad actually. It's not bad at all. But please, like I said, check the description below for any money off vouchers because you know it's always nice to have um, you know something some money off, isn't it? All right. Well, I hope you found that interesting. I had uh, fun using this, and uh, I'll see you next time for the next instalment of this uh, review series. Okay, see you soon.